Let's do connections. We're finding four groups of four. We've got Silver Music, Star Cross, Star Cross Lovers, Mad Men. Oh, this is fun. Sun Lead or Lead. We had Lead yesterday. Um, garlic Sandwich with Onion and a Soda. That's your lunch. <laughs> uh, lampoon Principal and Cracked Headliner. I like how they're putting like phrases together. That's fun. All right. So what stuck out to me? Like Principal, Lead. These are head. Like, they like to do heads. Um, leaders of some kind. I, I don't actually know that I see another maybe headliner, but that seems a bit off. Med. Hmm. All right, so not that. Lampoon. Is that like to be like, is that like being silly or is that? Some, I know National Lampoon is like a comedy group, right? But I don't know if that, that's the only time I've heard Lampoon before. There's also Mad Magazine. And then cracked and onion. Are these comedy, comedy things? They are satirical publications, familiarly. So I guess National Lampoon. It that is what it was. Nice. We still have our garlic sandwich. Hmm. Yum. Just lather that garlic onto your sandwich. I mean, I guess I like garlic bread. So if you take garlic bread and you put two of them together, is that a garlic sandwich? Um. Okay. Sun, star. I mean, are these like common newspaper names? The sun and the star. Um, I don't see another one though. Okay, so garlic and cross make me think of vampires, like anti-vampire things. The sun. The vampires don't like the sun. Uh, what else don't vampires like? Silver, maybe. Well, silver is more uh, werewolves, not vampires. But I think it's the best we've got, so I'll try it. Vampire vulnerabilities? I disagree with Silver. That's that's werewolves. All right. Get your mythology right. <laughs> All right. Lead, sandwich, star. One of these is yellow. You know what? It's probably lead, principal, star, and headliner, to be honest. Just the, the important person. Yeah. One on with top billing. <laughs> okay. And then music, soda, med, and sandwich. This is club. I mean, I thought of Club Sandwich and Club Med. I think cl Club Soda is a thing, isn't it? Club Music? Okay, I'm going to go with Club. It is Club. Okay. Uh, very straightforward today, honestly. Um, I may be getting the satirical publications first helped. Um, knowing my vampire lore. Although I think I know it better than they do. I still disagree with Silver. Uh, is, there, is there vampire lore like a particular... Um, like book series or a TV show or movie where they don't like silver? Let me know. Cool. Well, how'd you do? Let's do the mini crossword for Saturday, May 11th. Now, the Saturday crossword is the bigger one, and uh, it doesn't last very long. So uh, the Sunday comes earlier than normal. So if your puzzle is different, check to see if maybe you got the Sunday one and you missed the Saturday. Sorry about that. But uh, yeah, let's go. Uttered utterance. Would that be moo? Events with dunk tanks and game booths. Um, some kind of fair or circus? No, not circus. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna have to skip that for now. Oh, events. So maybe it's fairs. Okay. Facetiously big number. I'm not sure. Finished. Complete? No, that doesn't fit. All right. Parking area around the back. A parking lot? <laughs> I don't know. T's on tests. Trues? Okay. Hits up on Inst Instagram casually. Um, like DMs or something? I, I don't know. I'm not going to fill that yet. Uh, duck with a dark green head. Uh, a mallard is a duck. All right. Big fuel container, an oil um, drum, I think. It is DMs. Okay. Baltimore's baseball team, the Orioles. Or, or, wait, is that? I don't know how to spell the Orioles. And I didn't realize there'd be an E there. Um, I'll keep that for now, but I'm suspicious. Wireless speaker brand with a palindromic name. Well, if it's palindromic, speaker brand. 
I'm, I can't think of it right now, so let's skip that. Peanut butter holder, a jar. Okay. Blank neutrality, net neutrality is a topic of importance to the FCC. Uh, facetiously big, uh, a, a jillion. Okay. Finished. All done. Okay. So it was an O in Orioles. Parking uh, rear lot. Ah, okay. 202 is not bad for the big one, I think. Sonos. Rings a bell, but um, I don't think I would have come up with that. Is there anything I missed? Filet. Oh, I didn't even... I, I didn't do four down somehow. Filet mignon. I literally skipped that somehow. Okay. <laughs> I would have gotten that. Um, yeah, I, I think I did well. All right, well, how'd you do? Let's do strands for May 11th. Today's theme is it's a date. All right, are we talking about literal dates here or um, places you might go on a date? One of those things. Let's see. We've got this X here. Let's think about what this X does. Probably EX, right? I'm not seeing what to do after EX. EXT, X. Hmm. I'm not sure. What would our spanagram be? Like restaurants or something? Or I don't see a way to make. Re There's a lot of R's on the grid, but I'm not seeing a way to make restaurant. All right. Got success, maybe? We wouldn't be able to do that. Successor. That, that can't be there for no reason, right? Wow. Um, <laughs> guess not. Uh, wow. Bounce? Some of these words are, that are here are like, how, how could those coincidentally be there? We've got boot. I don't know what it's a date would mean. Because I can't find like, I don't know. I feel like I got to use this X somehow. Excess? I want to do succeed, but you can't do it this way and you can't do it this way. Uh, got court. Court. So you can have a court date, maybe? Is it just things with like blank date? Ooh, blind maybe? Is there blind date? There's, this is the only B in the puzzle. There's no L. Um, ooh, this is going to be hard to think of like something date. Could be wrong, but what else would court be? You can, you can court someone, I guess. Like if you're courting them, then that's an old fashioned word, right? Um, so what else? What, like maybe dating? Uh, that's kind of a bit on the nose, isn't it? Uh, marriage? Married? Um, spouse? Do we have spouse? No. Okay. Well, so what are what are we doing here? I'm having trouble thinking of what what words would be like synonyms of court. I mean, we've got dress. Okay. Huh. I don't think there's a dress date, so it might just be things related to dating. We've got out, out, go, out, go what? Out, go, going out? I don't know. I feel like out, go is the start of our spanogram, but I can't figure out how it continues. Hmm. We've also got out this way. Going out. No. We're going what? <laughs> Uh, go. Okay, I gotta stop. I gotta do something else. Um, boon, bount, something. <laughs> I don't know. Like, what? What else are we looking for here? Dress? Maybe suit? If we have dressed, we have suit. Uh, I don't see it. I'm trying to think what else? Like drinks, coffee. We could have like a coffee date. Um, I don't know. The opera? <laughs> yes, opera. No, it's not actually here. Can I do opera somehow? No. Um, you can go to a show in general. What kind of shows could you go to? I'm not sure what they're going for here. What's the spanogram? Rent? <laughs> no idea what's going on here. Your parent. <laughs> uh, pre something, pre. Mm, got rom something. Mm. Decor? No? Okay. Wow, so many words are here that just like are surprisingly not what they're looking for. Okay, I gotta figure out this X. X something. X. I really don't see it. It's gotta be, it's gotta be that it doesn't actually start with X. Oh, tuxedo. Tuxedo. Wait. Tuxedo this way. Okay, and then course. Oh, this would be corset. 
<laughs> Wait, really? Corsaget? <laughs> Cor hey, how's this work? Corsage. Corsage. Okay. So we're really dressing up here. T tuxedo, corsage, dress, court. Hmm. So our spanogram is like left to right. Very short. <laughs> Apron? <laughs> no. Uh, what else? What else do... Is it? Is it... It doesn't. I don't think it's all clothing items because court is not a clothing item, so definitely not. Fancy things. What else is fancy? Like a watch. Definitely not watch. Um, like night. Oh, it's it's like oh prom night. Prom night. Oh, okay. So it's the prom related stuff. So what's this? Dance. And then two, one word. This is one word. Boutonniere or something. Boutonniere. Okay. I somehow spelled that right the first time. I don't know how that worked out. All right. Wow. Okay. Prom night. Got it. Court is the only one I don't quite get. Maybe you just like court your prom date. That's the only thing I can think of. Or, or you know what? I think a lot of proms actually take place on like the, the basketball court. So you go to the, the school court and you have your dance there. I get it. Cool. Well, how'd you do?